So part of our cultural compulsion here to find our true selves comes from that book that I mentioned last week, uh, or the week before, so few people actually read. The verse is from the Gospel according to Mark 8.36. It's often printed in red letters as the actual words of Jesus. In the King James translation, it goes like this. For what shall it profit a man if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Now, this is the version that I learned in Sunday school as a kid, and the sentiment has gotten lots of traction over time in our culture itself. It's a way of saying that, well, these earthly goods are worthless in uh, face of eternity, right? So, and often we condemn the rich, perhaps, for that, and it's become part of the Christian message. But is that what the words are actually saying. Well, that's a different matter. The Greek word often translated into English as soul is psychon. And that's where we get the word psyche in English, for as in psychology. But in Greek, it meant breath, not psyche as something in the mind. It meant breath. So another way of translating that Greek would be for what shall it profit an anthropon? That's where also where we get anthropology, right? What does it profit a person, right? If they shall gain the whole world and lose their own breath? Does that mean life? It's a little more problematic than it first appears. Often psychon is translated as life, but if that's the proper translation, then what does the saying mean? is the idea that gaining the whole world is a waste of your breath, is a waste of your life. Maybe that's what it means. What does the sentence actually mean? It's mysterious. Yet, as with so many other mistranslated sentiments, this one is part of our cultural understanding. Soul, spirit, psyche, life force, the sentence is saying that something is more important than gaining earthly goods, somehow. As we say in the South, a hearse ain't got no trailer hitch. You can't take it with you when you go. You will not be exiting with your U-Haul towing behind. We want to have, or I guess, you know, some of us, we want to have had a moral core during our life, right? A center that was in some way good. We want people to say after we're gone, that was a good person, right? Whatever that means. 